Now, when we talk about the AWS organization, then there are a couple of points you need to keep in mind. So here you will see, you still need to sign up for an AWS account. I'm just gonna open the highlighter. So here, this is the root account. So as soon as you create your AWS account or you sign up for an AWS account, then you just get a root account. So let's say, for example, you sign up for an AWS account and you get a dev, you have created an account, which we are calling it as a dev account. So that's a single account which you have got. But considering the de our development environment, we do not stick with our one environment. We need to have a multiple environment for a developer or for a company. So here uh, you can see there are dev account and there is a test account. So in AWS, there is a concept of called organization. And with the help of organization, you will be able to create multiple accounts within AWS. So first of all, what we will do, we will just go and sign up and we will get an account. So let's assume that when you signed up for the first time, then you got this dev account created. And after creation of the dev account using the root user, you can create a, another account and that account we are calling it as a test account. So here you will get a different account number. So for a differentiation, I have just uh, prefixed with a one and here I am prefixing with a two. But these are just a randomly generated number from AWS. So AWS organization will help you to create a different uh, operational unit or a business unit. And in the business uh, unit, you can create multiple accounts like a dev, QA, staging and production account so that your resources are isolated. So suppose if a developer is working inside a dev account and he is doing some development work, so test account is not affected. So anyone who is performing some kind of a testing, then those accounts are isolated from the development changes. And similarly, you can have a one more account for production where you are running um, actual production applications, where you are serving the actual client. So that's where AWS organization comes very handy. Okay, let's talk about how to use the AWS organization from AWS console. So here, as soon as you log in to your AWS account, so here you can see this is my root account, the account for, from which I have signed up for this AWS. So here you can see these are the account details, but from where you should access the AWS organization. So just go to the search box and type AWS organization over here. And here you will find the link for AWS organization. So click on it. And this will take you to the organization page. And here you will see the multiple accounts uh, which is present inside your AWS account. Since I have been using this AWS account setup for a really long time, that's why you will see quite a lot of different uh, business units which I have created. But if you are doing it for the first time, then there are key points which you need to keep in mind. So you will also see a root in your account also because root is something which is always present. Secondly, you will get a management account. So this management account is the account from which you have done the first time sign up and that will be responsible for your AWS billing. So this root and this management account will always be there. And rest of the thing like dev OU or the this Terraform management account, which I have created. So this is just I have created for myself. All right. So now, uh, as you can see, uh, this account already exists over here, which I have highlighted over here. That is Rahul Vag, and this is the account ID. And this is the email ID which I have used for sign up. Now, uh, let's talk about how I can create a different account. So here I have just created a dev OU over here. So what we need to do over here is first you need to create a different OU like an operational unit or a business unit, you can call it. So just select the root over here, go to action and here create a new organization unit. So click on it and here you can type like a test you uh, I can make it capital and then create an organizational unit so this is just an organizational unit this is just a class uh, like a differentiation which you are creating between different business unit we have not created the account yet now next thing what we need to do we need to create an account for that we need to select the test OU because it is a test organizational unit and I want to create account inside the test organization unit so first select the test OU and after selecting the test OU, you will find an option like add an AWS account. So just click on this button over here and here you will find an option to create an AWS account. So here I just need to put the name of the account. So here I will just put the name as a test account. 
okay here you need to specify the email address and the email address should be unique you cannot reuse your existing email id so here i have just uh, i'm just using uh, test aws at jhook.com which is just a custom email id which i have created temporarily for this demo im role you can just keep the default one uh, for the time being like organizational account access role and uh, just click on create aws account and here you will see uh, aws uh, is creating one account so now you can see that we already have a root account but now we are just going to create a one more account and once you create these kind of account then you will also get a root user for that particular account so if i go back to the slide so initially this was a root user and that root user was responsible for my existing sign up account that's okay but when i created this particular test account then i'm also gonna get a root user for that particular test account so each account which you create then each account will always have a root user and that root user will have all the privileges for that particular account so that's a key point to remember when you are working with the aws organization and when you are creating multiple accounts all right let's uh, go to this page once again and refresh it and here you can see oh i have created a test account but that is not present inside this test unit so no problem with that we can move this test account inside this test unit so just select this one uh, go to action go to move and then just select the test ou and then move aws account I think I have not selected when I was creating this particular test account. Now you might be wondering that uh, you have created a different account from your existing root account. So how can we access the AWS console for this particular account registered with this particular email address, which is test.awsjhook.com. So what you need to do, you just need to sign out and then you need to sign in. But for signing purpose, you need a username and password. So the username, we can use it test.awsjhook.com, which is my email, but password, uh, you don't get password over here we need to reset our password using the forward password link so what i'm just gonna do i'm just gonna copy this email address from here i'm just gonna sign out from this particular account and then click on uh, either sign in to the console and here just select the root user because we have created another account and now we are having a root user email id so here you just need to enter the email address uh, just check for any spaces over here then click on next and then click on forgot password and it will ask you for the captcha so just supply i'm just going to refresh it uh, probably i'll try this one hope this is correct Yeah, so it will send an email uh, like containing to reset your password because we only created an AWS account, but we haven't set any password. And to access the different account which we have created, we need a username and password. That's why this is the process for uh, resetting uh, the password so that you can create your own password. Okay, so here I have opened the web email and here you can see uh, these are few emails which I have got. So here this is the first email which uh, uh, I have got when I have created this AWS account. Second, uh, this is also a welcome email and the third one there should be a password reset. So here you can see I have just received the uh, email for resetting my password. So just click on it and here you will find the link. So it might take a couple of minutes to receive that mail. So just copy this link and in case if you are not getting the email from uh, that uh, reset link then try to use uh, like an incognito mode or a different browser because there are some cookies uh, which are associated with your root account which you have already signed in so these are just a, a few few issues which i have noticed but this is not something which will always happen with you but just in uh, case if you encounter an issue and you are not getting those email just to keep in mind so okay i'm just going to copy this link from here and i'm just going to open one different browser in an incognito mode because i have already signed in uh, in my current browser so this is a uh, chrome which i have opened and this is an into incognito mode so that i don't have any previous session or cookies so i'm just going to paste that link over here and here uh, now you can reset your password so you have created your account with the aws organization and now you're trying to set the password for that particular account so i'm just going to create a password over here uh, just keep a safe password which is long and uh, which has uppercase lowercase number and some special character 
okay so just click on reset password click on sign in and here you can uh, enter uh, the email address once again at the rate chihook.com and here you need to enter the password and uh, you are able to successful login so here you can see uh, just click on next and done so here this is the test account which you have got and again remember this is a different account which we have created and this account is again a root account over here so now you have a two account one is the root account uh, which i have used for initial sign up and this is the second uh, uh, account which i will be using for testing purposes and this is the name of this particular account so by this way you can create a multiple account in your uh, using the aws organization into your aws console and both of these accounts are different and even you can see the billing uh, cost uses since it's a fresh account that's why it is showing zero but uh, both the accounts can have a separate billing also so these are something a uh, few topics uh, which is quite important when you want to handle multiple accounts